Ever feel like your kid's operating on a different channel? Maybe eye contact's a little bit wonky, social cues seem strange, and meltdowns are frequent? Don't panic, parents. Today, we're going to crack the code on autism. Buckle up, because we're going to go from confusion to clarity in five minutes flat. Autism isn't a disease. It's a different wiring, a unique operating system for the brain. And while every kid on the spectrum rocks it differently, there are some cool common traits that can help you navigate this adventure. Picture your brain as a bustling city square. For most folks, it's all handshakes and conversation, a constant flow of information. But for some, that's where autism comes in. The square might be a bit quieter, the interaction more selective. They might prefer solo strolls through their own gardens of thought, processing things in their own unique way, and that's okay. Studies like the one published in Nature Genetics in 2015 show that autism involves genetic variation affecting brain development and communications pathway. It's not about lacking anything. It's about experiencing the world differently. Now let's talk about signs and symptoms. Every kid is unique, but there are some common signs and symptoms you might see in autism. Number one, social communication. Their eye contact might be fleeting. Conversations one-sided. And social cues a bit tricky to decipher. But remember, they're not being rude, just operating on a different channel. Number two, restricted interest in repetitive behavior. They love dinosaurs or chicken nuggets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They line up toys and blocks just because. They like fans rolling. They like to memorize the dates or train schedules. These repetitive behavior can be calming and comforting for the kids. Number three, sensory sensitivity. Bright lights, loud noises, certain textures. The world can be a sensory overload for these kids. Understanding the trigger is key to keep things calm and cool. But here's a cool twist. Autism isn't a disability. It's a different ability. These kids can be incredibly focused, detail-oriented, and have amazing talents in areas like art, music, or technology. Their unique way of thinking can bring fresh perspectives and innovative solutions to the world. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all cure for autism, but there are amazing tools to help these kids thrive. So look at your kids, observe them early. If you notice any signs of speech delay, get them started with speech and occupational therapy. You can develop their communication and sensory processing skills. And the social skills group can help build confidence and friendships. Celebrating their unique strengths and interests is the best therapy of all. If needed, there are medications that we can use for specific signs and symptoms that interfere with their socialization and safety. So parents, if you suspect your child might be on the spectrum, don't panic. Embrace the awesome neurodiversity. Get informed and seek help early if you're concerned. And remember, you are not alone in this journey.